Nairobi One, and which have kept their part of the bargain to date. And I would like to commend these groups for vesting their faith on the process that we are undertaking. And on our part, we commit to do everything possible to ensure the success of this initiative. Indeed, having been to Goma and listened to stories of the suffering that people have gone through for so long, I am more convinced that no effort should be spared in bringing peace and stability to the eastern side of the Democratic Republic of Congo. Indeed, since we commenced the Nairobi process, and as a result of this, humanitarian actors have been able to have some access into these territories to provide much needed humanitarian assistance to the communities therein. Ladies and gentlemen, the East African Community Regional Force was deployed to offer support to the armed forces of the Democratic Republic of Congo. And I'm happy to note that the modalities have been put in place to ensure that this objective is effectively realized. Indeed, at this stage, I would like to thank Burundi and Kenya for deploying their troops as part of the EAC regional force. And further, I would like to urge the other member states to deploy as early as committed, for it is imperative that we realize full deployment of all elements of the East African force as per the decision of the three conclaves of East African heads of state and the subsequent 22nd Ordinary Summit of the EAC. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, to identify firstly the political process and institutional reforms necessary to create an environment conducive for the disarmament of armed groups at regional, national, and provincial level. Secondly, to consolidate support and stabilization, reintegration, and community stabilization program, and address the political and institutional requirements for reintegration. Areas for the great first time with representatives from Mariana and Tanganyika and the identification of root causes of conflicts in the five provinces. And finally, to evaluate the concrete modalities for the restoration of state authority. authority in each province necessary to accompany the PDDRCs amongst other issues. So ladies and gentlemen, the participation of all the invited groups at this consultative forum gives me much hope that all the objectives will be realized and we believe that at the end of this process we will be able to see increased coordination and coherence of the Nairobi process with the PDDRCs, the armed groups that are yet to cease to honor their commitments to cease armed activities and to grant unhindered humanitarian access, and the full deployment and operalization of the East African Regional Force. So as I conclude, ladies and gentlemen, I want to urge all participants to this process, including those who are not yet here on the table with us, to give their support to this process that is vital towards the restoration of peace and stability in the Eastern DRC. And I look forward to opportunities that will enable the region to continue working closely to enhance 
and strengthen the bonds of purposeful friendship and strategic cooperation for the mutual benefit of all the citizens of East Africa. Wenzangu wa Congo, unajua hii sio mara ya kwanza tukutane, tumekutana. Na nimewaambia sana sana amani ipatikane, haitapatikana kutoka wengine. Itatokana kwenu nyinyi wenyewe. Nyinyi wenyewe mukubali ya kwamba inchi ni yenu na mnaitakia amani na mnataka sasa majembe vyombo vya kujenga manyumba muweze kuhakikisha ya kwamba utajiri wa Kongo ni wa kuwasaidia sio wa kumwaga damu zenu na nyinyi mjue hakini ana huo uwezo wa kuleta amani ya kudumu isipokuwa nyinyi wenyewe yetu ni kuwasaidia yetu ni kuwashika mkono yetu ni kuwaombea lakini jukumu kubwa itakuwa nyinyi wenyewe kama wa Kongo mukishaamua ya kwamba mtaishi pamoja kwa amani kwa manufaa uongozi tutakuwa pamoja mpaka siku ya mwisho ya huu asante sana Your Excellency again for the powerful words that you've given to this congregation. Your Excellency, we have uh, Dr. Tax, I want to confirm. He's supposed to make a remarks on behalf of uh, Our Excellency, Mama Samir Hassan. So please, if you can uh, project. from uh, our excellent Mama Sabia Hassan to be done by
and intensely interconnected. Our security, stability, and progress, therefore, is dependent on that of our region and indeed on the rest of the African continent. Consequently, the pursuit of peace and stability is not only desirable and beneficial, it is the inevitable precondition for socioeconomic transformation and shared prosperity. Kenya thanks the East African Community Secretariat and the Africa Union for the commendable efforts made so far towards implementing the decision and directives of the 22nd Ordinary Summit of the ESC Heads of State. I also take this opportunity to strongly reiterate the call for ESC member states, our partners, and other st uh, stakeholders to act swiftly in on respective commitments that we have been made. I want to thank President Suluhu Hassan, the President of Tanzania, for committing to support this process financially. I also wish to thank President Kagame for also committing to support this process financially. And also President Yoweri Kakuta Museveni for also committing to, uh, to support this process financially. There is no greater demonstration of commitment from the EAC than the one that I have seen from the various heads of state of our region. Yesterday, when we met with the chair of our EAC, we decided to call all the other colleagues in this region, and all of them have set aside their schedules to be able to attend this meeting, even if virtually. It demonstrates the political goodwill that we have mobilized for the sake of peace in DRC, because peace in DRC is peace in our region. Peace in our region is peace in every part of our region and continent. For us, as leaders in this region, we take this assignment as an assignment of our lifetime because our continent is ripe for the huge opportunities. This is the continent of our century. And we cannot afford to lose the opportunity of our lifetime at the altar of conflicts that we can resolve. And it is our commitment because intra-Africa trade that holds the biggest opportunity for us to trade using the instruments we have already set up in the EAC, in COMESA, in SADC, and the, in the Africa Continental Free Trade Area, we have the greatest potential and the greatest opportunity to be able to increase trade and, in, and investment so that we can raise it from the paltry 13 or 15 percent at the moment to where other regions in Asia, in Europe, in the Americas are at 60, 70 percent. Ladies and gentlemen, it will be the biggest shame for us if while our, while our brothers and sisters elsewhere in the globe are holding huge conferences in big tents to discuss investment and trade. And they are holding huge conferences in big conference halls to discuss trade and investment. Our people are in tents as refugees and displaced persons it will be an indictment on us, the leaders of this continent. 
And that is why this assignment is an assignment we must not fail to discharge and to resolve. Kenya joins the rest of the region in affirming its utmost respect for the total sovereignty of the, of the Democratic Republic of Congo and for its territorial integrity. I also reiterate the full expectation that the East African Community Regional Force will support and complement the armed forces of the Democratic Republic of Congo in stabilizing and restoring law and order in Eastern DRC. More critically, I call on the force to collaborate with FADRC in supporting disarmament, demobilization, community recovery, and stabilization program. As I conclude, I reiterate our commitment to support our brave and gallant soldiers who continue to demonstrate their readiness to serve and sacrifice greatly for our countries and our peoples to live in peace, security, and stability. Their role is essential, and our support for them is therefore vital. Kenya has been, remains, and always will be a loyal and dependable partner of the DRC and a faithful member of our region in every mutually beneficial endeavor at all levels. Our determination to succeed remains stronger than ever, and our motivation even keener. God bless you. Thank you very much for listening to me. Asante sana. Na wauliza marafiki zetu wa Kongomani. Karibuni Kenya. Mukiwa huku Kenya, mujue muko nyumbani. Na vile eh, Rais Kenyata alie nitangulia amewambia, mazungumzo haya ndio iko na suluhu ya matatizo tulio konayo katika DRC. Vile nimesema, yale matatizo mukonayo siyo yenu peke yenu. Ni matatizo ya Kongo, ni matatizo ya East Africa na ni matatizo yetu sisi zote na sote tutaungana ili kuyatatua nataka muelewe vile vile bunduki na risasi haiwezi kulete suluhu kamilifu kuongea kama ndugu na dada kushirikiana kusikia mwenzako anasema vipi ndio ndio chanzo na ndio iko na suluhu ya kutatua tatizo ya DRC ambayo ni tatizo letu sisi zote. Nataka ni wahakikishie ya kwamba mkiwa hapa Kenya tutakuwa pamoja na nyinyi tumesimama kidete na Rais Uhuru Kenyatta kama facilitator wa mazungumzo haya na serikali ya Kenya tumejitolea na vifaa zote ili kuhakikisha kwamba majadiliano haya mazungumzo haya ya nafaulu kwa manufaa yenu ya watoto wenu ya wamama walio mliwaacha nyumbani na kwa manufaa ya jumuiya yetu ya Afrika Mashariki asanteni sana na watakia baraka ya Mungu na mimi naamini kwamba mtafaulu asanteni sana I want to thank Your Excellency, Dr. William Musomoro Ruto, President of the Republic of Kenya, for your vigor, energy, and your personal commitment, and that of the Republic of Kenya to ensure restoration of peace and security in Eastern DRC, and also the entire East African community. I thank Your Excellency. Allow me, Your Excellencies, now to invite uh, His Excellency Yorika Gutam Seveni to finalize his remarks that he had started